feeling like your energy's been drained and you're running on empty, you might be burning out without even realizing it. Burnout doesn't always announce itself with a big, dramatic entrance. Sometimes it creeps in slowly, making it hard to pinpoint exactly what's wrong. You might just feel a little off, a little more tired than usual, or a little less interested in things you used to enjoy. Let's find out together if you're experiencing burnout and what you can do about it. If you've been feeling like every day is a Monday, you're not alone. That feeling of dread when you wake up, the struggle to get out of bed and the constant countdown to the weekend are all signs that you might be burnt out. It's not just about being tired, it's about feeling like you're stuck in a never-ending cycle of exhaustion and stress. But there is hope. By identifying the signs of burnout, you can start to take steps to reclaim your energy and joy. Here are seven signs you're burnt out and how to fix it. Burnout can manifest in many different ways and it's important to recognize the signs so you can take action. Whether it's physical symptoms, emotional changes, or a decline in your work performance, these signs are your body's way of telling you that something needs to change. Now, let's delve deeper into understanding the signs of burnout, starting with chronic fatigue. Imagine trying to charge your phone with a broken charger. No matter how long you leave it plugged in, it just won't get to 100%. That's what chronic fatigue feels like. Despite getting what seems like adequate rest, you wake up feeling drained, as though you've run a marathon in your sleep. This constant state of exhaustion can impact every aspect of your life, making it difficult to find joy in activities you once loved. It's more than just being tired, it's a persistent weariness that doesn't go away with a good night's sleep. Recognizing chronic fatigue as a sign of burnout is crucial. It's your body's way of telling you that something needs to change. Now that we've discussed chronic fatigue, let's move on to another telltale sign of burnout. Decreased productivity. Imagine you're trying to get some work done, but every little distraction seems like the most important thing in the world. Burnout often leads to procrastination. It's not that you don't want to get things done, it's that your brain is so overwhelmed and exhausted that it seeks out any escape no matter how trivial. Remember that feeling of guilt when you know you should be working but instead, you're watching funny cat videos? Yes, that's burnout messing with your productivity. The key is recognizing this pattern and understanding that it's not just laziness, it's a symptom of burnout. By acknowledging it, you can start to take steps to manage your workload and give yourself the breaks you need to recharge effectively. In this segment, we'll explore another significant sign of burnout. Emotional numbness. This feeling can be incredibly unsettling. Imagine going through your daily routine but feeling like you're watching life through a blurry filter. You might find yourself indifferent to activities that once brought you joy or feeling disconnected from your loved ones. It's as if someone has turned down the volume on your emotions. This detachment is your mind's way of coping with the constant stress and exhaustion. Recognizing this numbness is crucial. It's not that you don't care anymore, it's that your emotional reserves are depleted. By acknowledging this, you can begin to take steps to reconnect with your feelings and start the healing process. Now let's talk about another common sign of burnout. Irritability and frustration. You might find that small annoyances like a slow internet connection or a misplaced pen suddenly feel like monumental issues. This heightened irritability is your body's way of signaling that it's under too much stress. To illustrate this, let's share a funny anecdote. Picture this, you're making breakfast and you accidentally drop a piece of toast. Normally, you just pick it up and move on. But today, that fallen toast feels like the end of the world. You find yourself shouting at the toast as if it had a personal vendetta against you. This overreaction to minor inconveniences is a clear sign that your stress levels are through the roof. Recognizing this behavior is the first step toward managing it. Take a moment to breathe and remind yourself that these small setbacks aren't worth the energy you're giving them. By addressing the root cause of your stress, you can start to regain control over your emotions and reactions. Now let's dive into another telltale sign of burnout. Withdrawal from social interactions. You might find yourself avoiding social activities and feeling increasingly isolated. Picture this. Your friends invite you to a fun night out, but instead of feeling excited, you feel dread. You come up with excuses like, sorry, I have to wash my hair, or I'm really busy binge watching my favorite show. While a night in can be rejuvenating, Consistently avoiding social interactions can be a sign that you're feeling overwhelmed and burnt out. Social withdrawal is your body's way of saying it needs a break from external stressors. But here's the kicker. Isolating yourself can actually make you feel worse. 
Humans are social creatures and being around others can provide the emotional support you need to combat burnout. So, next time you're tempted to turn down an invitation, consider saying yes. Even a short coffee break with a friend can lift your spirits and remind you that you're not alone. Now that we've explored the emotional and social signs of burnout, let's discuss another critical aspect. The physical symptoms. Physical symptoms of burnout can manifest in various ways, from persistent headaches to digestive problems. You might feel like you've got a permanent migraine from the stress. Stress can wreak havoc on your body. Imagine your body as a car engine. When it's overworked and under-maintained, it starts to break down. Similarly, burnout can lead to chronic fatigue, muscle tension, and even sleep disturbances. It's essential to listen to these physical signs and take action. Ignoring them can lead to more severe health issues down the road. Simple changes, like incorporating short breaks into your day, practicing deep breathing exercises and maintaining a balanced diet can make a significant difference. Remember, your body is sending you signals for a reason. Pay attention to them and take proactive steps to alleviate the stress and prevent burnout. Now let's talk about a sign of burnout that can be particularly disheartening. The loss of motivation and interest in activities you once enjoyed. Burnout can sap the joy out of your passions, leaving you feeling detached and uninspired. Imagine this. You used to love painting. It was your escape, your way to unwind after a long day. But now, the thought of picking up a brush feels exhausting. The vibrant colors that once excited you now seem dull and lifeless. This loss of motivation isn't just about hobbies. It can affect your work, relationships, and overall sense of purpose. It's like the spark that once fueled your enthusiasm has dimmed, making everything feel like a chore. But here's the good news. Recognizing this sign is the first step to reclaiming your passion. Start small. Reintroduce yourself to the activities you once loved, even if it's just for a few minutes a day. Remember it's okay to take breaks and give yourself permission to rest. Reignite that spark by allowing yourself to rediscover joy at your own pace. Stay mindful, stay compassionate towards yourself, and take proactive steps to reignite your passion. Your well-being is worth it. Now that we've identified the signs of burnout, it's time to take action. Our first tip is to prioritize self-care. Think of it this way, treat yourself like a VIP. Self-care isn't just about occasional treats, it's about making time for activities that nourish your mind, body and soul on a regular basis. Learn to say no to extra commitments that can overwhelm you. Make time for physical activity. Exercise can boost your mood and energy levels. Don't forget to nourish your body with healthy foods. Lastly, ensure you get enough sleep. Quality rest is essential for recovery and mental clarity. By treating yourself like a VIP, you can rebuild your resilience and reclaim your zest for life. Remember, self-care isn't selfish, it's essential. Stay tuned for more tips on how to combat burnout and live your best life. Now that we've emphasized the importance of self-care, let's dive into our second tip. Setting boundaries. Achieving a healthy work-life balance is crucial to combating burnout. Here's a fun skit to illustrate this point. Meet Jane, a hardworking professional who struggles to say no to extra work. Jane, answering the phone. Hello? Yes, I can definitely take care of that report by tonight. No problem. Jane, reading the text. Sure, I can help organize the team meeting tomorrow morning. Jane, sighing. Of course, I'll handle the client presentation slides too. Let's see what happens when Jane learns to set boundaries. Jane, answering the phone with a smile. Hello, I'm currently at full capacity, but I can help you next week. How does that sound? Jane, replying to the text. I'm unable to take on extra tasks right now. Let's schedule it for later. Jane, typing an email response. Thank you for reaching out. I'm prioritizing my current projects and will get back to you as soon as possible. By setting boundaries, Jane can now manage her workload effectively and maintain a healthy work-life balance. Remember, it's okay to say no. Setting boundaries helps protect your time and energy, allowing you to focus on what truly matters. Now that we've covered the importance of setting boundaries, let's move on to our third tip. Seeking support. Burnout can often make you feel isolated, but remember, you don't have to go through this alone. Let's introduce Sarah, who initially tried to tackle everything by herself. Sarah, talking to herself. I can handle this, I don't need anyone's help, I'm a hero. But even heroes need a sidekick. Watch what happens when Sarah decides to seek support. Sarah, calling a friend. Hey, I could really use someone to talk to, can we meet for coffee? Sarah, talking to a family member. I've been feeling overwhelmed lately, can we chat about it? Sarah, meeting with a therapist. I think I need some professional guidance to manage my stress. By reaching out to friends, family, or professionals, 
Sarah finds the support she needs to navigate through her burnout. And remember you don't need to have a hero complex, it's okay to ask for help, seeking support can make a world of difference in your journey to overcoming burnout. Now that we've explored the importance of seeking support, let's dive into our fourth tip. Practicing mindfulness and relaxation techniques. In our fast-paced world, it's crucial to take a step back and find moments of calm. Here are some practical ways to incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine. First, let's talk about mindfulness exercises. Start your morning with a few minutes of deep breathing. Close your eyes, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale slowly through your mouth. Focus on the sensation of your breath and let go of any tension. Another effective method is meditation. Find a quiet space, sit comfortably, and clear your mind. You can use guided meditation apps or simply focus on your breath. Even just five minutes a day can make a significant difference. And let's not forget about hobbies. Engaging in activities you love can be incredibly relaxing. Whether it's painting, gardening, or playing a musical instrument, make time for what brings you joy. Now that we've covered mindfulness and relaxation techniques, it's time for tip five. Reevaluate goals and priorities. Think of it as a life spring cleaning. Just like you declutter your home, it's essential to declutter your mind and reassess what's truly important. Start by taking a step back and looking at your personal and professional goals. Are they still aligned with your values and what you want out of life? Sometimes we hold on to outdated goals that no longer serve us. Ask yourself, what can you let go of? What new priorities should take center stage? It's okay to shift your focus as you grow and evolve. Remember, reassessing your goals isn't about giving up. It's about making space for what truly matters. So grab that metaphorical duster and start cleaning up your life. By regularly reevaluating your goals and priorities, you'll find more clarity and direction, reducing the stress and burnout that come from chasing outdated dreams. Burnout might feel like a never-ending treadmill, but these tips can help you find the exit. Remember, overcoming burnout is a journey, not a sprint. By recognizing the signs and taking proactive steps, you can regain control and create a more balanced, fulfilling life. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips on living your best life. We'd also love to hear about your own experiences with burnout. Have you found any effective strategies that weren't mentioned in this video? Leave a comment below and join the conversation. Your tips and stories could help someone else on their journey to overcoming burnout. Thank you for watching and thank you for being part of our community. Stay strong, take care of yourself, and remember, you've got this.